Hey, it's Amy Newmark, and I'm taking this week off so I can work on our fall books. I've picked out one of my favorite weeks from last summer to rerun for you, and I'll be back next Monday with new episodes. Changing your life one story at a time. This is the Chicken Soup for the Soul podcast with Editor-in-Chief Amy Newmark. Hey, it's Amy Newmark with your daily dose of Chicken Soup for the Soul inspiration. It's Motivational Monday, so I'm going to share a story with you that is all about motivation. It's by Daryl Harwitz, and it's called, The Only Way to Fail is by Not Trying. It's one of the many super motivational stories in Chicken Soup for the Soul, Think Possible, which is a book that Deborah Norville and I co-authored last fall. This story really tickles me because it starts with Daryl chickening out of asking a girl for her number, and then it ends very differently. Daryl starts out in the story as the old Daryl, the one who doesn't ask the girl for her number. He says he was driving his car when one of the most beautiful women he had ever seen appeared before him. As he got closer, he realized that he actually knew her. She had played third base in the co-ed softball league he had been in the previous year at work. Daryl says he was supposed to run home from second base on a hit, but because this beautiful woman was at third base, he stopped at third just so he could be near her. Even though they worked for the same company, it was a big company with lots of buildings, so Daryl never saw the beautiful woman at work. Plus, he was too shy to go and look for her, since he didn't think she would go out with him anyway. But now, Daryl was getting a second chance. He called out to her, and he offered her a ride. And shockingly, she said yes. When they arrived at her destination, Daryl totally blew it. He could have said something like, Hey, it was great seeing you again. Do you think I could give you a call sometime? And yes, she could have shot him down, but she also could have said yes. But Daryl never asked. And then he realized how stupid that was, and it continued to bother him. So he wrote down what happened on a three-by-five card that he put in his wallet. And every time he was afraid of something, he pulled out that index card where he had described not asking for her number and where he had also written the words that would change his life. And these are the words. The only way I can fail is if I don't try. Those words meant a lot to him. Instead of living life in fear and negativity, Daryl now had the freedom to determine what his future would be. He had the freedom to try. He says, it opened up an entire new world for me, and that was empowering. So guess what Daryl, the quiet, shy guy, did next? He became a car salesman. Talk about learning to overcome your fear of rejection. Daryl even won Salesman of the Year in his second year on the job. His new confidence also helped him pursue his real passion, sports. He wanted to combine sports with his love of writing, so he started offering to write for various publications. And while he sometimes heard no, it didn't kill him. And he sometimes heard yes, too. And here's how Daryl viewed all those no's. He figured he was going to get a certain number of no's and a certain number of yeses. So every time he got a no, that just meant he was that much closer to a yes. Seeing those failures or rejections as steps that would help him move forward was a very constructive way to view the world. And it's one that makes total sense. Daryl says that he turned the word no into his friend. He ended up getting plenty of writing assignments, and then he got even more courageous, and he put out feelers to various Chicago radio stations and tried to get on air. And he got a yes, and now he has been hosting the Sunday Sports Shootout on WLUW for 11 years. He gets media access to both the Chicago Cubs and the White Sox, along with the Chicago Bulls. And if you know anything about Chicago sports, you know that is a big deal. Daryl says he doesn't even remember the name of that beautiful woman whose number he didn't ask for. But that failure sure did put him on the path to a beautiful life. So I just love this lesson from Daryl. And here's a quote from Chicken Soup for the Soul co-founder Jack Canfield that sums it all up for me. Don't worry about failures. Worry about the chances you miss when you don't even try. 
I'm Amy Newmark. Thank you for listening to the Chicken Soup for the Soul podcast today. Please spread the word and explain to your friends and family how to get podcasts too. When I talk to people, even my own technology-savvy children, it's amazing how many of them are new to the world of podcasting, and they don't actually know how to get them on their phones or computers. If you'd like to read more stories from the book I mentioned, Chicken Soup for the Soul, Think Possible, then please go to our website, chickensoup.com. <laughs>